on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here if you're a fan of the scream franchise and you're looking forward to this upcoming film that is set to begin production in may if everything goes according to plan and this corona pandemic does not cause any issues uh go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video i'm going to be putting out a lot more scream content as news and uh casting updates come out regarding this franchise or this film that we're about to be getting from spyglass media Getting on right into things, in Scream 5, I think it's about time that we see Gail Weathers don the ghost face mask. Um, I've just been sitting around thinking about this for quite some time, and I know a lot of other people have brought this idea to me, and I can see this idea working. I can see it playing out very well on screen. Um, and then we, as we all know we did get some updates a few days ago spyglass media we haven't gotten like official plot synopsis but a synopsis some details we got was that a young woman or a woman will be returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious murders that's been occurring there now what i would like to see is i would like this young woman to be kirby i would like hayden pantier uh i would like her character to be revealed as alive she recovered and she survived that stab wound from charlie at the end of screen four because we never saw her die and that was done intentionally by wes craven he's on record stating that he purposely left it like that but in the original ending in the original story kirby did survive her survival was just cut out from screen four essentially just to leave fans wanting more because that character did eventually end up becoming a fan favorite so i would like to see kirby return and i would like her to be brought into town to kind of just uh brought into town as a suspect because another ghost face killing spree has started and what has happened is this is years later after she has graduated college and everything she's brought into town as a suspect and they're not going to let her leave town just because of the fact that um uh, she's a, she's now a suspect in these in these series of murders and she she more than happily agrees to come into town uh because she still has her family there she's just going to reside with her mother during this time while they have her in town as a suspect uh, because what's happening is let's say the killer's leaving messages at the scene of every murder citing that kirby made me do it uh which then of course leads to law enforcement investigating and finding kirby and requesting that she comes into town to stay with her mother until this is all resolved since she is now looked at as someone of interest and a suspect in regards to what's going on in woodsboro uh these killings of course then lead to kirby calling in dewey dewey gail and sydney uh kirby is our main character in screen five uh hayden pantier is trying to take the mantle and be the new final girl here uh sydney gail and dewey they're all still a all still going to be major factors but hayden pantier is going to carry this uh carry screen five her character kirby was a fan favorite it was a well written and a beautiful mix of both sydney and randy so i think that her character would do a great job being the lead in regards to just continuing the narrative with her as the final girl taking over from sydney uh but she kirby's character calls in the original three characters they're brought in as potential interest in what's going on as well uh, and Kirby just kind of just wants them there for backup and support since they've been through this more times than she has. Um, and I think what it would be a nice thing to see is that we kind of have just some uh, back and forth jabs in the writing, taking uh, taking jabs at these new horror films and the constant reboots, remakes that we're getting. Uh, and then also poking fun at movies like Midsommar, Hereditary and all these movies that a lot of us consider artsy horror and then kind of just poking at it and making it clear that slasher movies are still the in, are still in slasher movies are always going to be the best and just kind of just throwing shade there i think that would be a nice little touch to screen five but in the end the killers as things are progressing as the film plays out we find out that the killers are a group of stab fanatics who are this desperate to get a new entry that they have relaunched a killing spree of their own uh in the hopes that they become immortalized on screen like the very like the very uh killers who came before them they want to be immortalized they want to be remembered for something and they figured uh these these people are clearly insane also uh they figured that by recreating uh Ghostface and creating the Woodsboro murders again this would lead to the potential chance of them getting another stab film uh then they would also get to be immortalized on screen the same way that everyone else came before them and now nothing is personal here against kirby kirby was brought in just for the simple fact that uh they thought that this would be if again they they want and they're doing this in the hopes that this becomes a movie down the road so with kirby being there they thought that this would just make it juicier if things were to ever become a film this would make for a more entertaining film if if these events actually did get turned into a film down the road and they got that that 
entry in the stab franchise that they've been waiting for for quite some time in this in this time frame the stab franchise hasn't been dormant and they just they're just that desperate to get another entry that they started up the Woodsboro killing sprees again um and then also i i think a proper twist or a nice twist would be that we find out that gail weathers is involved in it gail weathers would be the one who put them up to it gail weathers directed them gail weathers gave them the idea she gave them the blueprints and they're just following all up now why is gail weathers doing it gail weathers has uh, as we saw on screen four she was struggling to get her journalism career back up in the relevancy or get her journalism career back up and just become relevant in the mainstream when it comes to that field so i think it would be interesting to see that she is that desperate to get that major story again and be the Gail Weathers that she was. And then what she did was she ended up reaching out to some individuals online, ended up convincing them that uh, if they did this for her, then she would make sure that they got off if something ever were to go to, if they were ever go to trial for anything like this and that she would give them like college tuition because these students uh, or these staff and they also really want to go to college and get out of Woodsboro. So she promised them all college tuition. Um, I would say the killers the killers here would be three different individuals, three different teenagers at Woodsboro High. Um, and then what I think would be a nice other twist here is that Gail is also trying to get back at Sydney. So see, in between now and screen, in between screen five and screen four, let's say that Dewey and Gail got a divorce. And then the cause of that was an affair that Sydney had with Dewey. Uh, now, Gail was always aware of this, but she never she never made a big deal out of it to Dewey. She never wanted to make a big deal out of it. She just cut herself off from Dewey and Dewey and Sydney. In the fifth film, we see that there's always there's kind of like this tension between the between the three. Uh, Dewey and Sydney have no problems, but it's really coming down to Gail having an issue with those two. And then this would play into why she has that issue. We would find out she is the mastermind behind this. She put everyone. She put the idea in motion and the teens are just acting it out uh and she is also going to be the she, she's basically the mastermind so in the end what happens here is that the teens now have a potential new stab film they get to have the chance of possibly getting immortalized on on screen and they have their college tuition money to get out of woodsboro and then gail now has her groundbreaking story that would hopefully revitalize her career and she's also getting back at sydney because in gail's mind and a line that i would like to hear her say in the process of exp of revealing herself and explaining her motive to sydney i would like her to drop a line like like mother like daughter kind of just making mention of how sydney is a home wrecker similar to what marine prescott did because we all know um, Marine Prescott, she slept around with a lot of men, which led to the issues that Sydney had in her teenage years and her early adulthood. Um, and the whole reason why these Ghostface killing spirits are even a thing. So I think that would be a nice little touch to kind of just see that tension between them. I think Gail Weathers would be a, a very interesting Ghostface. I think it would be a nice twist. And I think Screen 5 could work out better in the end if we saw something like that. Well Gail, well, Gail Weathers is basically just that desperate to get that mainstream story again. In the process, she becomes relevant in journalism. She has her revenge on Sidney Prescott. Uh, Sidney Prescott and Dewey. And the college students who assisted her, or the high school students who helped her rather, they have their new potential stab film. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. I haven't fleshed it out really. I'm just kind of throwing ideas around at this point. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.